Hey you guys, it's Britt. Tonight I'm here to bring you some alternatives to the Monate skincare line. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so before we get into it, I need to touch up my lip and I figured I would show you guys what I'm wearing. So I'm using the NYX Toast Lip Pencil. This is a holy grail. And then these, I talked about these over the summer. These are so nice. The Sephora Collection Lip Stories Balm. And I'm using the shade number eight, Ditching Class. This is so nice. I love these so much. These are great. They're affordable. They're comfortable. These, the two that I have, have a little bit of shimmer. But they are super, super nice. So... The reason that I wanted to do this video is because I have been talking about Monate a fair amount on my channel as of lately, and I always knew that they had a skincare line, and I would never encourage anyone to support an MLM, ever. But I also realized that a lot of people might be interested in their products because of the fancy marketing and the, you know, um, crazy words that they pair with some of that marketing. It might pique people's interest. So I wanna give you guys some attainable, good options for some of their products. I did the same thing with Naturium last summer when Susan Yara came out as being involved in Naturium. I had a huge issue with that. And what I did was on top of saying, hey, this might be a company that you guys don't wanna support, what I also did was I did a second part to my video where I showed you guys really good alternatives to the Naturium products. So that's what I wanna do with Monate as well. Monate is obviously a lot more problematic than Naturium is because Monate is an MLM, Naturium isn't. But I still didn't like the way that Naturium went down and everything surrounding it. So anyway, let's get started. Hopefully this video is not an hour long, but if it is, grab your tea, coffee, water, whatever, and let's get started. And by the way, this is my David's Tea Mango tea that I always talk about, and I just have it in the Starbucks cup. I make it hot and then let it cool down, but it might, be, it might still be too hot. So I'm gonna throw up some screen grabs and screen recordings for you guys so you can see what I'm looking at. But the Monate skincare, number one thing that I recognized was the astronomical price that is attached to these products. And it's an astronomical price for no good reason. That's the crazy thing about it. So let's go over some of their key ingredients that they tout as kind of their miracle pieces to their Monate skincare puzzle. The first ingredient is the Rejuvenique S. It says that it hydrates, moisturizes, and nourishes. All the Rejuvenique S is, is a blend of plant and essential oils. That's it. Nothing super fancy. The next thing they go on to is the Monate Exclusive Peptide. I wanted to do a little bit more digging because I saw the word exclusive and I realized from a consumer standpoint, I feel special when I see exclusive. This company is giving me something that nobody else is giving me. Well, I did a little bit of research and figured out that their exclusive peptide is Progeline, that's the kind of brand name, Peptide, Progeline Peptide. This peptide is in a lot of different products that's on the market. The most affordable option that I found very easily is from a company called Garden of Wisdom, and they have the Progeline Peptide Repair Serum. It's $11.60 for a quarter ounce. That's literally a very small bottle, but if it's something that you want to try, you know, that could last you a couple weeks for a trial period. If you wanted to get the bigger bottle that is one ounce, that's pretty standard for a skincare serum. 
it's $37. I still think that that's a fair price if that's something that you have your sights set on. But here we go. Number one, they say it's, it's exclusive and it's not. And to name a couple other, actually I'll name the other products later in the video when I go through some of the other specific products that they have. The next ingredient that they highlight is the Kakadu Plum brightens, plumps, and protects. They go on to natural fruit acids, alpha hydroxy acids, smooths and brightens, and plant stem cells strengthens and protects. They have two different routines that they focus on. The first routine is the Be Gentle routine for dry, sensitive skin. Then they have the Be Balanced routine for normal and combination skin. I found it somewhat interesting that they didn't have a routine for anti-aging. Typically, when you see skincare companies focus on a different routine based on skin type, they'll also have something for aging skin, but maybe that's coming. I don't know. You guys, put your seatbelt on for this price, you know, announcement. $278 for four products. Are you kidding me? The first product in the line is the Be Gentle Creamy Cleanser. If you wanna buy it by itself, it's $45 for four fluid ounces. That's a pretty standard size for a cleanser, four ounces. You know, you can obviously find value size cleansers at like the drugstore or, you know, even at Sephora. But it says, it gently cleanses impurities without stripping your skin. Conditioning formula leaves skin clean without feeling tight or dry. Leaves skin soothed, calm, and comfortable. I want to preface all of this by saying that all of their products, the shampoo and the skincare products, have a ton of essential oils. All of their essential oils can be tied back to their Rejuvenique S, which is basically just you know, a blend of oils, essential oils, whatever. Now I realize when you're talking about essential oils, using essential oils on the skin, if it's on a wash off product or a rinse off product, usually you'll hear estheticians and dermatologists say, well, it's not that big of a deal as long as you're rinsing it off the skin and not leaving it on like a moisturizer or a serum. But this cleanser has bergamot fruit oil, coconut oil, and olive oil. To me, that sounds very heavy, even if it is a rinse off product. The alternative, if you're looking for a cleanser that is not gonna strip your skin, my number one pick would be the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. You can buy it at any drugstore. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna list all of these down below. If any of these products spark your interest, please go read reviews on Ulta or Sephora or wherever it is that you seek out your reviews. Go look at the reviews, make a decision for yourself, but I am not gonna try to make each of these a really long speech. But if you need a cleanser that's not gonna strip your skin, and if you have a sensitive skin type, go with the CeraVe cleanser. It's not laced with a bunch of essential oils and it's a, a fraction of the price. Let's go over to the Skin Revitalizing Essence. This is again, four fluid ounces for $45. And it says it prepares skin to receive the nutrients in the Monate skincare products. Skin looks more luminous and brighter. Pores look more refined, skin is hydrated and moisturized, helps diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, skin feels soft and smooth. I don't necessarily think that everybody needs an essence. So the only two ingredients that are in this that I can really stand behind are the lactic and glycolic acids. But as far as a toner type of product, I would recommend the Neogen Ferment Essence. I'll put a screenshot up here and also list it down below. The second um, essence or toner that I would recommend is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toner. I used to use the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toner. I really loved it. I don't have it in my current routine because I'm working through some other products, 
but it's absolutely a product that I would repurchase and fully recommend. So this is a doozy. This is the Rewind Age Control Nectar. You guys, the, the word nectar, it makes it sound like it's just, you know, made from the depths of the ocean and it's gonna just make you look like you're five years old all over again. This is $120 for one, count it, one fluid ounce. Let's go down to the uh, features. It targets fine lines, wrinkles, and texture. Skin looks more youthful, radiant, and even toned. Skin is immediately hydrated, smoother, and brighter. Helps to improve elasticity. So this again has a ton of essential oils and this is where it becomes more bothersome because this is a product intended to leave on the skin overnight or you know whenever you're using it most people are going to be sleeping all night with it tons of essential oils it does have glycolic acid it has glycerin which i like but on top of having all of those essential oils which are considered fragrance it also has fragrance added so this seems like a nightmare for someone with sensitive skin, but if you're interested in the kakadu plum that they tout, Glow Recipe has a serum that has the same ingredient in it. The first product that I would recommend would be the Drunk Elephant Polypeptide Moisturizer that they have. It is the same idea where it's moisturizing. It has the same peptide, that progeline uh, peptide ingredient that I mentioned earlier. If you're looking for something that is going to, here's, here's kind of the, the overarching theme that I see with a lot of these serums, moisturizers that have all of these big claims behind them. There is a reason why retinol is the gold standard in the skincare industry and in the cosmeceutical, you know, cosmeceutical grade skincare, retinol is the gold standard. So instead of going this route with the plum and the peptide and the AHAs and all of that, I would recommend to look at the Paula's Choice Clinical 1% Retinol Treatment. And I would pair that with something that is going to add moisture as well. And in order to do that, I would look at a hyaluronic acid humectant like the Hadalabo Premium Essence that you can buy on Amazon. Apply that onto wet skin and then allow it to dry and then go in with your retinol product. I think that those two would work really well together. Another humectant that I love to use is the Red Earth Deep Dive Water Cream. Apply both of those humectants onto damp or wet skin. Allow it to completely absorb and then go in with your retinol. If fine lines aren't a concern to you and you're just looking for something to help increase cell turnover, go with the Glycolix Elite 10, 15, or 20% glycolic acid night cream. Depending on how much experience you have with using glycolic acid, usually I always recommend people start with the 10% and work your way up. I've been using it for a few years now, so I have been on the 20% for about two years, and I absolutely love it. So it just sort of depends, like, what is your concern? Are you concerned with helping to increase cell turnover and brighten and just even your tone? Then go with something with glycolic acid. If you're focused more on um, melasma, fine lines, things that are more visible, then I would pair it with a retinol. But no matter which product you choose, I would still pair it with a really good humectant by using either the Hadalabo Premium or the Red Earth Deep Dive on damp skin. Then they have their be Gentle Nourishing Moisturizer. It's $68 for 1.5 fluid ounces. And this says, nourishes and moisturizes the skin, provides all day hydration, skin looks radiant, feels calm, smooth, and soft, minimizes the appearance of wrinkles, fine lines, and lack of elasticity, ideal for dry and sensitive skin. 
So it has the same sort of highlighted ingredients. Let's go to the full, in let's go to the full ingredient list. Again, a ton of fruit oils, essential oils, citrus oils. You know, honestly, if you're using the humectant that I mentioned before and actually putting that onto damp skin to seal in the moisture before you go in with your either glycolic acid or retinol product, you don't need another moisturizer if you are using a humectant. Now, let's talk about this is more focused on nighttime skincare routine. If I'm talking more about daytime skincare routine, I would still use a humectant, but a lot of people ask, what is a good, just really simple moisturizer that plays well with makeup and will moisturize my skin? I love this Cetaphil Daily Hydrating Lotion that's super simple, easy to use. Something that I use every day is the Trilogy Rosehip Seed Oil, and sometimes I'll even mix the oil in with the Cetaphil Moisturizer. Those are two kind of no-fuss moisturizers. Even though one is an oil, I have no problem with using an oil. Um, you know, I've never had any issues with it being too slippery or too greasy, but I saw a big, big change in my skin once I started properly moisturizing it by cleansing the skin while my skin is still damp, once I wash the cleanser off, don't dry off your face, go in with that humectant to seal in the moisture, and then depending on if it's daytime or morning, go in with either your other moisturizer, AKA the Cetaphil Daily Hydrating Lotion, or if it's at night, go in with your retinol or your glycolic acid, sleep with that and then do the opposite in the morning. So that's all that's in the Be Gentle routine. Let's go over to the other Be Balanced routine. So to buy everything, it's $278. And in this, all that they do is swap out the cleanser and the moisturizer. The Be Balanced Foamy Cleanser is $45. And it says it gently cleanses impurities and environmental elements while softening and comforting skin purifies and refines pores without feeling tight or dry, soothes, refreshes, and brightens, complexion, removes oils while conditioning with 24 hours of hydration, ideal for normal and combination skin types. Same thing, it's laced with all kinds of plant oils, essential oils, lemon peel oil. If you need a good foaming cleanser, go with the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser. Super easy, no fuss. CeraVe really makes some amazing cleansers. I love that they're affordable. I love that they have really simple ingredient lists and I love that they're so widely available. And then let's go over and look at their lightweight moisturizer. $68 for 1.5 fluid ounces. The features of this are age control benefits, provides all day hydration and moisture, minimizes the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines, Skin feels soothed, soothed, smooth, and soft. Say that 10 times fast. Complexion looks refreshed and more radiant. Ideal for normal and combo skin types. Yeah, this moisturizer has coconut oil in it and it has olive fruit oil. Those would both be nightmares for acne prone skin. If I put olive oil on my skin and coconut oil on my skin, guaranteed cystic acne like within 48 hours lightweight moisturizer, I would still fall back to the Cetaphil Daily Hydrating Lotion. That's amazing. Never had any issues with it. And if you are on the drier side, you can always just swap it out or combine it with the Trilogy Rosehip Seed Oil. So let's go over this from the top. And I'm not even talking about products that I might use here and there or like you know, masks or peels. We're just talking about a basic skincare routine. First, the cleanser. Are you in need of something hydrating or more purifying? Pick one of the two CeraVe cleansers that I mentioned. Then moving into the essence, you can either go with the glycolic acid toner or the neogen ferment toner if you don't need, um, 
if you if you need a little bit more nurturing and maybe your skin is in need of a little bit more moisture go with the neogen one next as far as a anti-aging nectar kind of vibe no need for any nectars all that you need to do is figure out are you more focused on anti-aging or brightening and toning the skin pick either the glycolic acid or the retinol that i mentioned again all of this will be listed down below but the key with using either of those products is to before you apply them make sure that you're properly locking in that trans epidermal water loss that can happen after you cleanse your skin so before it's dry toss in your humectant which is either the Hadalabo Premium or the Red Earth Deep Dive. I love both of them. And then to deal with actual moisturizers, you can explore the Trilogy Rosehip Seed Oil or the Cetaphil Daily Hydrating Lotion. It's really, really easy to build a very basic skincare routine. Once you have a basic skincare routine that you're happy with, then is when you can add in facial peels, you can look at eye creams. Once in a while, I'll even use my PMD microdermabrasion tool, and I also utilize vitamin C. I don't, I don't put vitamin C in my, kind of my bare bones skincare routine because my skin has done better with glycolic acid and retinol, but I do still like to use vitamin C from time to time. And for that, I use the Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum. You can buy it at Whole Foods, it's amazing. You can also buy it at Ulta. So I'm gonna list all these products down below, but I really wanted to show you guys, it's just such a sham how they make their products look like this groundbreaking, you gotta have it, age rewind, skin revitalizing, all of these are just marketing words. They're fancy words to make it seem like you're gonna use these products and look 10 years younger. And I'll say one more thing before I wrap this up. I see so many of these fancy marketing, you know, things out there. At the end of the day, aside from retinol, and on top of it, not even all over-the-counter retinols, I'm talking about like Retin-A, and I have had really good luck with that Paula's Choice retinol, I will say. But aside from using a potent retinol, there's not a whole lot of these fancy products that are attached to a big price tag that are literally going to just erase all wrinkles. The only thing based on my research and my personal experience that will literally get rid of wrinkles is Botox. Botox and fillers, especially Botox, that is going to actually, you know, if you're in a position where you can get Botox and you can afford it and you can maintain it, that is going to get rid of wrinkles. You know, I think a good skincare routine will definitely help, but I get so tired of companies acting like this is the product that's gonna make you look 20 years younger you're gonna look like you did when you were 16. It's just not feasible, and that's just the hard truth. But we're all trying to age gracefully, and it is what it is. If you're someone who gets Botox, fine. If you're someone who gets fillers, fine. But do not be sucked in to these marketing campaigns, and we definitely don't ever, ever, ever want to support MLMs because we know that they're crazy problematic. So anyway, I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that I was able to navigate and explain these products in a way that made sense without losing anyone. But as always, if you guys have questions, please DM me on Instagram, please email me. I've had some of you guys email me and I send you guys product suggestions and kind of you know, try to help you guys work through what are all of these skincare products and like how do I know what I actually need and what I don't. I am not an esthetician, I'm not a dermatologist, but I have done a ton of trial and error when it comes to trying skincare products. So 
I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.